Just flew the drone this morning and the volcano is super clear. It looks so awesome. Oh my god. Oh, I'm still like, it's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. We're heading to Life or Tuna Water Club. Well, it's like 6 45. We were up at 6 a.m. Yeah, we're a bit late because I flew the drone. It was like, amazing. But I'm not sure if the waterfall opens at 7 or 7.30. It's one of the more expensive ones. It's like 18 USD, but it's our only <laughs> waterfall so far of the trip that we might like. Probably one of those ones like you gotta pay for it. You gotta see it. Yeah, there's definitely hidden gems though that are yeah. less touristy. We just ain't got the tab. We're doing this, some gems. touristy stuff on this trip. Stuff. Oh my god. Look at this road. This is crazy. Paid at the gate. Got our bracelet. That was about 50 bucks Canadian, 36 USD. The bracelet's good for the whole day, so we can't come back. I don't know why we would come back, but. I don't know why we would come back, but you get the bracelet for the whole day. Uh, we are the second people here. He also said that the water is so high because of all the rain last night. The current is so strong. Can't swim right at the water. Come early. Because even now, there's a bunch of people. Yeah, people coming. Okay, we're gonna go down. I'm gonna spill a couple of facts before we get down there, because I think when we're down there, the roar of the waterfall will be so powerful that you probably won't be able to hear us. But La Fortuna Waterfall is located 10 minutes just outside of La Fortuna. It's 70 meters tall, 500 steps to get down to it. And like we said, there is an entrance fee. We just came back to our place to grab a snack and I showed Skylar this little garden they have. It's, the grounds here are so well looked after, it's beautiful. It's so nice. I want to show you the ant highway. Oh yes, and there's an ant highway. <laughs> we're just like showing each other all the stuff. So it's less exciting right now, but they were like carrying a bunch of stuff. Oh, here going goes. It's got a leaf. Got a little leaf. Oh, see, there's more. Couldn't resist stopping here. Great view of volcano. And there's horses. Still no sloths, but there's horses. We just got to Aranel Volcano National Park. We're gonna go do a couple of hikes here. It's about 15 bucks to get in. In the national park, there are two hiking areas. There's kind of like the peninsula area, and then right in the park, as you go up and kind of along the volcano, um, you cannot like hike to the top of the volcano. Uh, apparently, like back in the day, I think you might have been able to, but it's just way too dangerous. It could erupt, so. Last time it erupted though was 2010. It's not erupted since. This is the Arnell National Park map. We just drove up to here for like a lookout, um, but we're gonna be hiking number four, which is Las Coladas. It's about two kilometers, and it takes us all the way over to the old lava flow of 1992. Um, and then we might also take the El Ciebo, uh trail as well because there's like a really massive tree to see. And then what we might also do if we have time, we'll try to kick this five kilometer trip out, is um, do this area as well because this is the peninsula. And your ticket gets you into both areas. Not even like a minute in, we're, we don't even know what kind of, kind of bird this is. Oh. Once a week, sloths come down from their trees to poop. I read that in the Lonely Planet book that <laughs> Ashley gave me. Yeah, gave us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, that's crazy. They only poop once a week. Once a week, they come all the way down. Damn, they no poop. I know they're so slow. They're all like, backed up. <laughs> they probably take all week to do it. What they would say is, if we're lucky, <laughs> maybe we'll see a stop poop. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Hike took us to this site, which is the location of the 1992 eruption. So, all of this rock, um, a lot of the view, all the way down, all the way to here, and it kind of settled here. So, that's what you can hike up to. And it's pretty cool. And then, 360 view, you will also get a viewpoint of Lake Arenala as well. Jesus, that is a huge tree. Whoa, man, you are so small. That's crazy. It's hard to capture the scale of this thing. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, the lanta. We've seen so much wildlife, that was crazy. Definitely Great do trail. the other trail Yeah. that kind of loops around because there was way more wildlife, there was way more birds, there was, I don't know, that tree, so tree was really such a highlight to see, and but there's also a lot of bucks, so that, I feel like it's just less traffic probably, people go up to the viewpoint where the lava is and then they come back. Um, not like bitey bugs, but just like scary big bugs flying around. Yeah, the, there was these bumblebees like that were like this big. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm not getting close to them. And then there was like this big flying thing, so I like had to stop abruptly. And yeah, yeah. they they're scary, a little bit scary. So I just don't want to get bit by something. I'm trying to get to another part of this national park, but I think we made a huge mistake taking this road. It's been the worst road I've ever driven on. <laughs> this is a good part of it. it was... This is a good part, yeah. And the guy recommended we do this. Alright, next hike to this lake. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, we got some kind of monkey. There's quite a few of them in here. So cool. They're kind of like little, like raccoon monkey looking things. Like, we'll figure out what they are. Gonna check this thing out. We have this all to ourselves. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's wild. Keep showing this volcano, so but it's, it's pretty magical. Oh my gosh. It's the main attraction of the area. The sun is right in my ass. I think it was worth coming out here. This is a beautiful spot. And it's so peaceful. We're totally alone now. There was a couple taking, they just got married, they were taking some photos. Congratulations, couple that just got married from Colorado <laughs> that we don't know their names. I want to see a crocodile. Yeah, so we're hanging about looking for a crocodile. A local couple just told us that there is no crocodiles, or he's never seen any his they, whole life. Yeah, they live right around here, and um, they swim in the lake. They paddled to get here. So I think the sign is just because they don't want to encourage people swimming, because that's probably way harder to like lifeguard and maintain. But yeah. definitely scared me.
taking a different way back and it feels like very Jurassic Park. I'm sweat. Holy land. It's hot. It's just getting dark. Yeah. It's getting scary. It is. We just heard like this shriek. Shreaky, like, <laughs> <gasps> like a monkey sound, but like it was shrieky too. It was it was nerve wracking. <laughs> Okay, let's go, man. Let's get out of here. We asked the lady if it was better to go the other way to get out of here, and she said, no, it's worse. So we're going back on this really terrible road. <laughs> she said it's just as bad, and that, but that the other way, the last 50 meters or so, is just full of holes. So, like, it's impassable, which really sucks because this way also kilometers. sucks. It's like driving on a riverbed. Yeah, so that's exactly what it's like. If you're a rental car company, don't watch this video. <laughs> Should have got the Walmart sloth. <laughs> We just picked a place called Soda Viquez. Viquez. Not sure how to pronounce that, but it was very good. Very it was good. delicious. They yeah. were so kind in there too, um, and it was just the best meal I think we've had so far. And cheap. Oh my gosh, it was probably like half the price of anything we paid last night. So <laughs> we've read like if you find a soda, it's more traditional. It's like a more traditional restaurant. Um, sometimes there's like probably more language barriers than there would be at a um, like the main strip tourism restaurants, but yeah, yeah it was good. We got it was like a casando with chicken. Casado. Casado. Did I say casando? Not like casado with chicken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's kind of just like a mix of a bunch of stuff. They just give you like whatever. Oh it's like vegetables and stuff. And uh, yeah, she gave us a rice pudding too, which was super good. Yeah, she was just like here. Yeah. And she, like she just gave it to so us. Nice. So like for yeah, our meals were like three thousand. Coronas? Coronas? <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling Coronas. <laughs> Get me to bed. Alright, see you in the morning. If you had the choice to be a waterfall or a, or a volcano, what would you be? Yeah, I said a volcano. Just, if I get annoyed, I get to explode and burn. David is definitely more of a waterfall. I am definitely more of a volcano. Big squirrel. <laughs> I thought it was a monkey. <laughs> oh my god, Skylar was like, a lemur. <laughs>